Hey, welcome back. In this lesson, let's talk about table aliases. So what is a table alias? It sounds like something sinister, doesn't it? Anyways, a table alias is a temporary name that we can assign to a table in the database. And by temporary, what I mean is a shorter name because we want to do less typing. And it can help us simplify our query syntax, mainly because now we don't have to look at all these long table names. And it, in my mind, makes the query a little easier to read. So why would you want to use a table alias? Well, you're going to see that as your joints get more complicated, it's going to make sense to start using nicknames for the tables. Okay, I like table aliases because for me, it's easier to see the SQL and the joints and what's happening so I can read it better. I'm certainly less apt to make a mistake while typing because the alias names are shorter. And you've probably seen that in the last examples where I, I made some typos. And they also help me avoid ambiguous column names. So if I, if a table alias is easy to use, I will use it. And by using it, I'm now ensuring that all my columns are being explicitly referenced by a specific table. So I don't have any of this like, oh, it's product ID. Well, did it come from the customer order table or the product table? No, because I put an alias in front of it and I know what table it came from. So that's why I use table aliases. So let's talk about a table alias example. So one example would be is to return a list of customers and their orders. And we have the tables customer and customer order here. And the tables are related by customer order ID. So I'm going to go into an example and show you the way to do it without the aliases and then how I would do it with an alias. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is pull in my example where we have the full table names. Let's run this just to make sure that it does its thing. And as you can see here, I have customer and customer order. And I'm highlighting customer order here so you can see all the times I had to like fully type it out. So is there a way where I can make this a little easier to have to, you know, the to deal with and I don't have to keep typing out these long names? Of course there is. It's, the, it's these aliases. So let's make one for customer. What I like to do is use, you know, like one or two letter combinations. So customer, I'll use C because, you know, customer starts with a C. And then customer order, two words, customer order. So my alias is going to be CEO for customer order. All right, what happens when I run this? It comes back and says invalid reference in the from clause for table customer. Does not like it because I have all these tables explicitly mentioned. So I need to change these. And I'm going to do a search and replace on customer dot with C dot and then hit replace all and now you can see where instead of being customer dot customer ID it's C dot customer ID we're going to do the same thing with customer order so I'll do a replace on this customer order dot and replace our recurrence so that with CO dot hit replace all boom and now I got select customer order here, customer order. You can see here where my join clause is getting a little easier to read. C dot customer order ID equals CO dot customer order ID. And it runs. So that's how I would probably format it myself. Some people might go, yo, I want these on different lines. Well, you guys can do that. There's no rule stopping you. Other than you can see now I have to fiddle with it and you know what's the value in fiddling with it if it makes it easier to read or whatever so the question i would have is is that do you find this easier to read or this right here easier to read because it's all about preferences i'm not the one that has to read your code so what you want to do is try to figure out which way do you want to write your sql 
and you might find that you like the way I do the aliases you might want to use your own aliases like C-U-S-T or C-U-S-T-O-R-D-R -R, whatever but couple the style and figure out which way you think is easier to read I personally think this has too much text that doesn't matter to me I've got my eyes trained where I can look at this real quickly and I know what my aliases are and it makes sense all right so that's the lesson on aliases you're gonna see that I use them from now on because it's for me the way to go and working with uh, joints so I'll see you in the next lesson